Hi students, in this video I am going to talk to 7th standard students. Students we have been talking about animal fiber chapter. In the chapter we have been talking about various subconcepts related to animal fiber. You know silk and the stages of uh, silk preparation, silk fabric, various subconcepts related to this chapter we have been talking about. In this video and uh, especially in the last video what we have talked we have talked about the life cycle of silk worm. What we have talked in the previous class, what life cycle of silk worm. Here after this, you know, in this video what I am going to talk to you is the people problems problems facing by whom the people involved in seri culture and the facts behind what? Sericulture. See students, facts behind the sericulture. What are the facts behind the sericulture? You know, In the life cycle of silk worm, we have studied about a stage, cocoon stage, you know, cocoon stage, that stage is also called as pupa stage, okay, in that stage, the length of the thread we get from a single cocoon on an average, the length is about, the length is about 1000 to 3000 feet 1000 to 3000 feet 1000 to 3000 feet long silk fiber what the fiber is produced by a single cocoon ok here and uh, you try to understand that to produce to produce what 500 grams of silk 500 grams of silk to produce 500 grams of silk how many cocoons are needed on an average 2000 to 3000 2000 to 3000 cocoons are needed to make 500 grams of silk and can you assume that how lengthy silk we get from 500 grams of silk around 50 lakhs feet 50 lakhs feet lengthy silk 50 lakhs feet then the silk fiber is obtained <coughs> from 500 grams. That means in miles it may be around 1000 miles long. Okay, 1000 miles long silk fiber is obtained from 500 grams of 
the silk 500 grams of silk fiber sorry yes silk fiber that we get for 500 grams of silk fiber that we get from 2000 to 3000 cocoons okay okay see here uh, this is one of the facts that uh, we came to know now and another fact is that the people involved in sericulture have some problems they are facing some problems what problems are they they are like you know the people those who are continuously working uh, in sericulture they may suffer from what respiratory problems they may suffer from what respiratory problems and uh, skin problems okay because they are continuously handling they are continuously handling what silk and silk worms silk and silk worms because they are handling continuously silk and silk worms they may suffer from respiratory and skin problems that we have to understand here in this video the facts behind the sericulture process you try to understand what are the problems the people involved in sericulture process what are the problems they are facing and how lengthy silk is produced by a single cocoon to produce about 1000 miles of silk fiber how many cocoons are required and how much you know weight silk is required 500 grams of silk is required and also let us talk about story of wool okay students uh, before that before discussing about wool can you give some examples of the fabrics that we wear in winter season can you give some names of the fabrics the fabrics that we wear in winter season like yes tell me yes you know sweaters mufflers hats long coats you know and other articles or other things like you know table covers etc these are the things made by what material is used to make these things that we will see now and these are the things mainly that we use in uh, uh, in winter season but what is the main fiber used to make these clothes that fiber is wool okay can you name sources of wool that we get from sources of wool like you know mainly sheep goat yak camel Uh, etc okay so students 
the, the material wool we get from these animals and how we uh, process it and how we rear these animals and uh, what are the steps followed in getting wool and wool and fiber to make wool and fabrics and all we will discuss in the next class students. See these are the sources of wool you know sheep, goat, yak, camel and you take it as a homework students okay you have to make a list of sources of wool okay sources of wool that we get from okay and also you make a list of the things that we made by using wool sources of wool and things made by wool take it as a homework students and present it in our whatsapp group and this is for this video students in the next video we will see how the people rear these animals and uh, how the woolen fiber we get and woolen fabrics are made and all we will discuss in the next class students thank you for listening thank you one and all